Welcome to Toppy TV. Everton have made a signing on deadline day. It is Aurel Mangala. He has joined on loan from Leon, a central midfield player. Uh, Everton strength on the squad. Jack, a good signing. Premier League experience. So yeah, yeah. huge tick for the manager. Yeah, he's uh, already got that, hasn't he? Mm. So um, hopefully he shouldn't be sat on the bench for three months before we finally get to see him, <laughs> at least because he's got that ever crucial Premier League experience. And I've heard the rumour as well, he knows how to smell out victories. That's good. So, the nuts and But, bolts. you know, it's uh, just a rumour at this stage, so we'll see. But no, um, decent signing. Mm. Decent signing. He's a known quantity because he has played in England before. Like you say, a full international gets in Belgium's team and... Mm. Yeah, I like it. I like that it gives us options in the middle now because now when you look at our crop of midfielders, we've got a solid bunch who are all around a similar level as mm. well, but with varying levels of experience and some different styles in there now as well. So it gives us a little bit of flexibility in terms of how we set up that we've not had under this manager before. And, you know, he's been criticised for his system and loyalty to certain players and what have you. Hopefully now having options in the middle gives him a chance to move away from that and to, you know, prove us wrong. It's a sensible sign and because obviously it's a loan deal. Um no one's over committing us to him or him to us, but that's okay. And he comes in, like you say, he'll give Everton other options in the midfield. Obviously Amadou Onana went out, Andre Gomez went out, Lewis Warrington even who got on the pitch uh, against Sheffield United at the end of the season. They've gone from the midfield area. We brought in Tim Iraboon and obviously he'll come in into this as well. And in there with Garner, Trisha Garner, Gay, James Garner. So Evan have still got those that core and midfield plays. He is a Belgian international, as we talked about there, and has played in the Premier League with Nottingham Forest. So I think it's a good, sensible option. It's not the fast right winger that I wanted, but he is a sensible um, squad player. And like you said, it will give the manager opportunities to to vary with whatever formation he looks at. Yeah, and look, if we finish this deadline day and he's our only sign and today, people might be a little bit unhappy and understandably so because we're not getting what we need most, are we? But it's nothing to do with this lad because he's no. coming in on a loan. It's not like we've spent what little money we have on him. He's a player they wanted anyway and they wanted a midfield player. And yeah, I think he's just going to be a, a solid squad player that we can depend on and, like I say, give us flexibility. Tim Eric Boonham, for me, is the one in that midfield that we want to work with long term and see mm. how do we get the most out of this kid because he's talented. Eric Boonham, he really is. But I think we've seen at the Spurs game, he still has bits to learn and he has his partnerships to work on with whoever's alongside him because he has to learn that side of the game. Playing away from home as well, it, it is different. But it gives us an extra body in midfield to take the pressure off as well. If there's a game that we think Eric Boonham's not quite ready for, for whatever reason, we now have the option. We've got a couple of options we can take him out for or you know, put another man in the middle, change Eric, Bo Eric Boonham's role in that mm. midfield. It's a useful sign, and I think that's all it is. I don't mm. think he's going to change the landscape of our <laughs> midfield or anything, but he's a useful sign, and he'll be a squad player. He's versatile, and you need those players in your team. Yeah, you do. Let's have a look at his uh, his career stats. Let's get on here. Here we go. He's born in Brussels, uh, age twenty six. Height one point seven eight, about five foot ten. Uh, preferred foot right. The fee is a loan, as we've discussed. And um, we look to the next one. He's played two hundred and ten career games. He scored eight goals. He's got sixteen assists in that time. His positions mainly central midfielder or as a defensive midfielder. 19 caps, no goals for Belgium. And uh, these are where he has played in his career, these positions. Essentially a defensive midfield player, then played most after that central midfield. He's played as an attacking midfielder, of course, as well, and the other areas. And he are the games played. So 118 of his career games uh, as a defensive midfield player. He's had 102 as a central midfield player, 14 as an attacking midfield, three as a left wing, two as a right wing. I think he had one as right back as well. So there is the variation in the number of games that he has played. Uh, let's have a look at his heat map from last time he was in the Premier League. He played before he went on loan to Leon last January. He was he played 20 games for Nottingham Forest in the Premier League that season and started 19 of them. Uh, that is his heat map, as you can see. Very active all over the pitch. Um, I think he'd made something like 52 appearances or something for Forrest over 
the two seasons he or the one and a half seasons he was there. So he was in their team a lot as a regular before he went off to Leon last January. And so like you say, he comes in, he's got good pedigree there of playing games, versatile, knows the league, all of that stuff. And um and it will be a useful addition, obviously. Yeah, and I think just looking at the heat map we just mm. had up as well, that to me suggests he's less of like a lone sit and six and mm. more maybe someone of the Adresa Garner Gabe mm. style who likes to win the ball all around the pitch and push up a little bit more. Not necessarily because he's getting on the ball and dictating things, mm. but he wants to win the ball higher up the pitch. But again, I think that suits us because we've got a couple who do that and it gives us the option to have that double and one can go and one can stay and... Mm. They can invert with each other, and yeah, I think he he fits us stylistically as well. And you know, people might not like that style, and I completely understand why. But it's the style we're working with at the moment, and most likely will be for the rest of the season. So you do have to recruit players for that, don't you? Yeah, listen, he's coming in. Like I said, there's no you know the outlay is alone. It's fine. We'll assess it and we'll see how well he does, and then the decision will be made later in the season. But it's a good sign. It gives Everton more strength and depth. And I think that's what the manager wanted. He wants that more strength in the middle of the park, but someone who is versatile and can move about. A good age as well with a good good um, pedigree and lots of experience. So there you go. RL Mangala has come in to the side. Let's hope he does better than the last Mangala we had. Uh, who come in to the side. Fingers crossed. Um, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Sensible signing for Everton. A good signing. What position would you want to see Everton strengthen it? Let us know in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to become a Toffee TV Premium member, link is in the description. QR code's on the screen now. See you later.